हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन सेशंस ऑफ द मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटलर्जी माय सेल्फ विवेक परेक टेकिंग द लेक्चर्स ऑन योर यूनिट नेम दैट इज नोन एज एन नॉन डिस्ट्रक्टिव टेस्टिंग इन द फर्दर टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द व्हाट डू मीन बाय द एनडीटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन डीटी एंड एनडीटी व्हाट आर द डिफेक्ट्स व्हिच वी कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम द एनडीटी टाइप्स ऑफ मेथड्स व्हिच आर देयर फॉर द एनडीटी एंड आउट ऑफ दैट थिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टू मेथड्स liquid penetrant testing and ultrasonic testing we have discussed in our previous lecture so now in this lecture we will be discussing with our another method that is known as a magnetic particle testing method which short form is mpt you will be aware about the thing that is the magnet and the magnetic thing for with the help of that magnet the material is not affected and due to that thing it is one of the ndt method so what we will be taking into the consideration for the magnetic particle testing so let us discuss or let us start with the introduction of this method this method is used for the inspection to detect the various type of the surface that is surface defect as well as sub surface defect which mind it we have to only use for the ferrous component so now the question comes what are the ferrous component ferrous components are the components in which iron content is there that means magnetic particle testing is only used for the samples of steel cast iron and iron that's it that a material is made magnetized that means a magnetism is induced inside the material and as a result what will be doing we will be going for the testing of the material now on which principle does it works it works on the major principle of the magnetic flux leakage or the change in the magnetic field line you will be knowing about the magnetic field lines that what do you mean by the magnetic field lines that means the region or the area where the magnetic field exists that thing is known as a magnetic field lines when the field is spread out it appears to leak out of the material that is known as a flux leakage field if iron particles are sprinkled what will happen they will always follow the path of the magnetic field lines and if there is a discontinuity in that magnetic field lines then directly there will be an indication for you that there is a defect which is occurring in the material so now let us see how it appears that this is the thing magnet in the magnet you can see over here the magnetic field lines are there they are always having a closed loop over here you can see so this is a magnetic field lines whose advantage we are taking this is the method you can see magnetic flux leakage they will get crossing over each other and going further so here you can see there is a magnetic flux leakage over there here also you can see the magnetic particles is there so wherever there is a crack inside a material what will happen you can see over here the material will be over there and still you can see if there is a crack this magnetic field lines appears like this so here you can see discontinuity you can see so discontinuity will be over here and as a result of which you will easily find out that there is a defect inside the material so on change in the magnetic field line or the magnetic flux leakage this particular method will be depending okay so now let us move forward that which are the different types of the magnetization there are two methods for the magnetization one that is the direct magnetization method second one that is known as an indirect magnetization method in the direct magnetization methods what are there for the direct magnetization method it will be clamping of the components between the two contacts and the second one with the help of the clamp or the pods we will be magneting what is this magnetization material do not have permanent magnetism they respond towards the magnet but by applying anything if your material is converted into magnet that is known as a magnetization take an iron nail take a magnet stick your iron nail with the magnet for 10 to 15 hours and remove the magnet after that whatever your nail is there will behave as a magnet and will attract the iron particle 
सो वॉट वी डिड वी डिड द पर्टिक्युलर नेल अ मैग्नेटाइजेशन वाई बाय अप्लाइंग अ मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट इन साइड इट सो दैट मैथड दे आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज डायरेक्ट एंड इन डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट दे आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स clamping of the particular component and the second one with clamps and pods whereas in direct we will be going with the help of the permanent magnet will be there central conductor electromagnet and with the help of the coils and solenoid let us discuss this thing how the magnetization will occur so methods of magnetization first one we will be discussing about the direct so here the two clamps are there the clamp number 1 clamp number 2 between that thing your material is placed you can see the material is placed so over here what is happening you are applying electric current so the purple line which is there the electric current is flowing there is a electromagnetic induction you will be knowing that whenever there is a electric current is there automatically magnetic field will be generated and if there is a magnetic field electric current will be generated this is in a common purpose so over here when your material or when the material is conducting the electricity what will happen you can see over here the red color thing that is in this way you can see over here the magnetism is applied on the material so here what you did by passing electric current directly what is done the magnetism is generated inside a material it is the method that is known as in clamping the component between the two conductor this conductors they are made up of with the help of the copper material so the second method which is there that is known as in with the help of the particular clamp or the pod by applying electric current what will happen by this two pods here you can see the circular type of the magnetism which is developed on the material okay this was the direct by applying direct current on the surface the magnetism is applied on the material now let us discuss about the thing that is the indirect magnetization the first method that is permanent magnet by contacting it with the permanent magnet as i told you that iron nail and magnet the same method is applied over here this is your sample these are the permanent magnet and as a result there will be a magnetism inside this material second method which comes that is known as an current carrying wire is there and that is electromagnetic so here you can see the magnet is there over here current is passing over here but the magnetism is applied on the material indirect way not the direct current is passing over here and magnetism is developing over here and the third one from the solenoid so here you can see from the solenoid or the coil the current is passing in this coil and as a result there is a magnetism which is generated on the material so this is how with the help of the indirect method you can go for the magnetization method clear so this was the method through which we can make the material magnet magnetization now which are the steps which are there or you can say for going that thing what is the magnetic field distribution the first one longitudinal field when a long component is magnetized using a solenoid what will happen the shorter length there is a thing that means whatever the magnetic field which is generated that is always of the longitudinal size <coughs> that is the longitudinal size this occurs because the magnetizing force will diminish the increasing distance from the solenoid so what will happen you can see over here between this coil you can see there is a change in the magnetic field which is there so here magnetic field is happening in this conductor in this way how the coil the current is passing from this coil and you will be facing or you will be having a thing that is of the longitudinal thing over here you can see that is the longitudinal way clear so this was your longitudinal field and now we will be going the second one that is the circular when a circular magnetism is applied on the material that is known as a circular field right hand thumb rule can be used for the direction of the magnetic field so over here current is passing from this conductor and in this circular manner there will be a magnetism which is developed inside the material in this way clear so there is two types either you can go for the longitudinal thing that means in this way magnetism is developed or in a circular way now what is the procedure of this method so for the procedure the first step which comes 
that is known as an surface preparation. The first one surface preparation after that initial demagnetization will be done. After the initial demagnetization we will be going for the magnetization of the material. After magnetization we will be going for the application of the magnetic particles. After that what we will be doing after the application of the particles let us view the thing observe the material after that what we will be seeing that is the marking of the defect which will be there after marking whatever the defect what we will be do demagnetize the material clear and after the demagnetization remove the ink or whatever the magnetic or whatever the magnetic particles are there that can be removed from it and taken for the further use let us discuss all these steps in a shorter one surface preparation any type of the rust or the corrosion which are there on the surface should always be removed from the surface any paint or any coating layer can you have to remove from the surface why because it will not become a magnetic material that's why after that the second step which comes that is known as an initial demagnetization you are not knowing that whether the material was having a previous magnetism or not. So for the better and the safe option what will be going? We will be always going for the demagnetization. Why? Because material is prepared under the any machine and that machine was carrying a current. So what will happen? Your material will have a magnetism inside it. So to remove that thing or to remove any type of the magnetism inside the material before testing we will always go for the demagnetization of the material. So to avoid the false indication why because if there is a remaining magnetism it will give you the false indication. After that the magnetization of the material is done we have already discussed the different types of the thing or the sources through which we can make the material magnetic direct methods and the indirect method after that the fourth step was application of the magnetic particle you will sprinkle the iron powders on the sample on which we want to do the testing so the metal powder is sprinkled over the surface to be tested and after that what we'll be doing we will be viewing the thing so if there is a black or a red color powder we are going then we should view under the daylight or if you are using a fluorescent color powder you have to go for the black light then view the thing what you will observe you will observe magnetic field lines after that wherever there is a change in the magnetic field lines that you should mark it why because it will be a marking of the defect all the indications should be marked after the magnetic particles to drain why whenever there is a change in the magnetic field you observe mark that material with the help of the red color so that you will get an indication afterwards also and after that once again demagnetize the material so what will happen after demagnetizing whatever the magnetism will be there inside the material is removed and due to that thing what will happen whatever the magnetic particles we have sprinkled that will fall down so using this thing you have to go for the demagnetization and last one if you have to take the remove the ink from the component that means the powder is collected and once again reused for the other test clear and this is how the magnetic particle testing works clear so now let us discuss the advantages of this material of this method no limitation of the size and shape of the component used for only ferrous components setup is portable why because only magnetization thing you have to use and you are taking only magnetic particles only not much type of the much more higher machine or larger machines are used no hazardous radiation it will never give away any type of the radiation both current can be DC or DC any type of the current you can use for the magnetization method and can be directly done on the final component also but with the advantages there comes also disadvantages so major disadvantages that means they are not used for the non ferrous material time consume in this method is much more because your material will magnetize it will take a much more higher time it cannot be used to detect interior defect much more inside the material if there is a defect cannot be find out with the magnetic particle testing results once again like LPD we cannot preserve the result for a very long time so where we can use this thing the application 
for detection of the various defects like the surface crack or the flaws like casting, welding, forging of iron and any type of the thing, any cracks can be found out with the help of the magnetic particle testing but only for the ferrous materials only. Clear? So, this was about your magnetic particle testing and the remaining two methods we will be discussing in our upcoming lectures. Clear? So, till then, thank you.